my name is Jessica, and I'm going to start doing weekly or semi-weekly updates of my pregnancy. My due date is June 18th of 2010. That's two weeks after I graduate. Jessica Jean Schaefer. The little dot. And you can't like tell that there's a head or anything there. I suddenly have like a belly. And they kind of stick out a little bit. And this week I just feel like, like plump. I don't really have a baby bump yet. I'm just kind of chubby. Um, I bought a crib already, <laughs> but it is a baby bump. Whenever I sit down, I have to unbuckle my pants. After I found it, it was like, sometimes I have to unzip it too. And we're like, oh yay, it's so cute. And then I'll have to get up for something and my pants will be like all open. Yesterday I felt freaking huge. I feel huge. Here's the belly. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint the room green. Oh, Are you setting up the video? Ah. You're this. Very happy walls. And then the wall, and the wall, and the wall. Yes. And this wall. We set up our crib. There was like rumors going around, but well, not rumors because they're true. I'm gonna put a, a link in the side. I don't know. I don't know which side it is. But if they did ask me, I wouldn't deny it because it's true. She has red hair. And she came up and she was like, "Are you pregnant?" I totally, totally felt a little. Like miracle worker. We asked if we could videotape and she was like, um, no. And we were like, oh, okay, you don't have to be so rude about it. Uh, about it. And she was like, well, is videotaping going to determine whether or not we're going to be your doctor? And then my mom was in there and she was like, yeah. So I'm starting to actually feel pregnant. This is my mom. I will just like sit there and belt. And it's like actually, it's all hard. I called them today and I was like, is it okay if we bring like 15 people to the appointment? We got straight A's. For the actual appointment, we had 17 people fit in a room that was meant for 10. I made my appointment to find out what I'm having. So my doctor thinks it's a girl and that's just based on heart rate. But I have no, I have no idea. I have no feeling. I have like, I have no idea. So most of you guys thought that it was a girl. 88 of you guys thought it was going to be a girl. And 52 of you guys thought it was going to be a boy. So we do know what we're having. It's a girl. And so the name is going to be Lilia. And she's just like, thank you, mom. You fed me. I'm officially six months pregnant. Yay. I'm definitely getting out there. My stomach was completely lopsided. It was like that. Wow, I can't see <laughs> what it is from here. My belly button is in the way. She kicks at the Doppler and he makes this face that's like, randomly have my shirt up sometimes. It probably shouldn't when I'm in public. And he's also like, you're in the home stretch now. And I was like, yeah, I know. This child does not sleep, I swear. And that's just like, it's just like, like, I don't know. It just puts you into like, whoa, this is like happening now. Side, here's 35 weeks and three days. And they just kind of like wipe it around the edge of your area. I just felt like bleh. And I also bought um, stretch, stretch Mark Cream. The massage lotion for stretch marks. I got my first stretch mark, which is blah. And it's right next to my belly button. And bum ba -da -dum, the stretch mark. He went to go put the Doppler on my stomach and he like pointed at my stretch mark and he's like, did you burn yourself? And I was like, no, that's a stretch mark. Um, I looked at my stomach and I was like, no, because there was like five stretch marks on the side of my belly button. And my heels were just killing me. I've had a lot of lightheadedness. I still can't sleep very well. I wake up and I'll have to pee and then I go back to bed and then I can't sleep. So I've been having horrible horrible back pain. I have like a constant lower back pain. So I'll be laying there and I'll be like, I'm gonna throw up. But I'll also get something like higher back pain and it'll just hit me and I'm just like, oh, ow. That's lots and lots and lots and lots of back pain. I just felt like someone like pinching my back, not pinching my back, like cutting my back open. I've still been having a lot of cervix pain. It's kind of like someone is taking a needle and like poking my cervix. And he said, I am zero centimeters dilated and zero percent effaced. And he said, my cervix is hard and in the back. And he does not think I'm going to go into labor anytime soon. 
mighty thing dandy. I feel like I have this huge, like, attached, fake, pregnant belly. This is gonna be one crazy little kid. Eight. So I'll be on one side, and then I try to go to switch, and I feel like I'm taking a huge whale with me to switch to the other side. He said I was 80% effaced, and he said it's almost one centimeter. She's due after me, and I'm still here, and I'm still not in labor. It's not fair. So I just went, like, went in the bathroom, and I wiped, and I was just like, oh, that's not normal. <laughs> I get a phone call and it was CBS 13 and that's like a local news station here. They were like, hi Jessica, well uh, we got your email and we want to come down there and interview you. And we were like, what? <laughs> like are you serious right now? We were like, okay. And they were like, okay, well we, we're up in West Sacramento so we should be there in about an hour. And we're like, an hour? <laughs> They interviewed me for like an hour and a half. They said it gained international attention. We get a call, and it was the people from The View. Like, the show, The View. <laughs> and they wanted me to go on the show. And I was like, what? <laughs> I thought that was really cool, which is really cool. Yes, yeah, so that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. It's so cool. That's really cool. And it's so cool, which is really cool. That was really cool. It's amazing. Freaking amazing. It's really exciting. That's exciting. That was really exciting. That's really exciting. I'm really excited right now. We're really excited. Are you really excited? I'm really excited. Everyone's really excited. Like makes me want to throw up like it's just like oh like nasty like I don't want to eat that It's like 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 and like 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 Okay, so food chicken anything that's like cheesy or buttery like meat like barbecued chicken my dad's barbecued chicken hot dogs fruit and bread. I don't, I don't want to say cravings, it's just everything else I don't want to eat. I've been wanting a lot of chocolate, and I'm trying not to eat like unhealthy. I ate a lot. Like, I've always been a picky eater. Chocolates, pies, and stuff. I know there's Chewy Bars that have like chocolate in them. Hopefully I'll have this child this week. I will hopefully not talk to you guys for week 40. <laughs> Bye.